kick it up a notch, guys. Let's go. <laughs> <laughs> so my story takes place in Boston at 1 a.m. I had just gotten out of a video game convention with a bunch of my friends. Um, yeah, I do have friends. <laughs> <laughs> so we got out of the convention and they screwed up the car situation so we all had to crowd into one car there were like nine of us and I said I don't want to crowd into this clown car like a bunch of sweaty disgusting like butterfinger smeared mouth breathers <laughs> I said I'm going to take the subway because that seems safe Will anybody employ the buddy system with me? And they sped off, so I was <laughs> <laughs> So I'm alone on the subway at 1 a.m. And I go to open the door to the main subway area that brings you down. And there was a man standing there that looks like he was one of the faces of meth. <laughs> and he has a huge full beard wearing sunglasses at night, which is totally unchristian. <laughs> Just red locks, and he was just frightening, a frightening man. And so I figured, I'm just going to avoid eye contact. I'm going to walk around to the side. Hopefully he doesn't see me. I, I'm good at not making eye contact with people. This is, this is a strength of mine. <laughs> so, so I figured, okay. But the problem was, my idiot friend, he said, here... Hold on to my hat for me. I don't want to wear it. So I wore this hat for him. Now, I hate hats. I never wear hats. I hate them. If I was a politician, my official campaign slogan would read, Fuck hats. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm already miserable. And this guy, he goes up to me and he says, Give me that hat. <laughs> and I said, Oh, shit. <laughs> I said, Oh, shit. And he's creeping towards me. I'm, I'm trying to get away from him. He's creeping towards me. But luckily, there were some runaway nerds from this convention. Some nerds who were, had dissipated and found their way near me. And they said, this man who looked like he was used to getting Big Macs. He, he said, hey man, get the fuck back right now. And he luckily saved me. And... I figured I would be all right. The guy reached here and he's like, hey, you okay, bro? <laughs> and I said, yeah, I'm okay. <laughs> so I make my way down to the main subway car thinking I evaded death. But the subway car stops and opens up and there's an old lady and she gives me the finger. <laughs> so this is my part two now of this old lady giving me the finger. But that's not all she did. She also pointed her hand into a gun, looks me right in the eye, and shoots me twice. <laughs> twice. I guess just to, like, double tap to make sure I'm dead. <laughs> so, she does the double tap. Then, she does this sort of old school thing where she tilts her head back and just slits her throat <laughs> and the You know, like a pirate-esque uh, death threat, which is kind of classy. <laughs> so, uh, I figure, alright, uh, I can't believe this is happening. I sit down and I take my seat. In that order, I sit down. <laughs> and I think, okay, alright, I'll, I'll try and get through the day. And the subway ride went through kind of alright. She was making loud screeching noises. <laughs> but, you know, that's just normal for homeless people. <laughs> I paid no attention to it, and but uh, I reached for my phone just to check the time, thinking how long, how much longer do I have in this subway ride? I, I want this to be over. And I looked at the time. Short. I put it back. Think nothing of it. Shortly after, I hear, "Does anybody have the time?" <laughs> and I think, "There's nobody else on the subway." <laughs> And I think, oh crap, i got to think of a way out of here. This is not good. I mean, there's, this is the second homeless person today who's tried to kill me. <laughs> so, uh, I devise this plan. I take out my notebook, I write, and I write. I mean, these schematics are so detailed, you wouldn't believe it. It's like Macaulay Culkin, Home Alone, just 
detail. <laughs> and so my plan was this, and I did this, and I can't believe I did it. It's so clever. When the train came to a halt, I got up and I left. <laughs> that, that's my story. 